<sighs> What's up, Randy? Oh, Neftali, I just feel like making a tuna sandwich right now. All right, bet. Let's go make a tuna sandwich. All right. Ooh, I could tell you really enjoyed that tuna sandwich. Yeah, I know. <coughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm choking. <coughs> all right. This is how it always ends, folks. <coughs> Uh, you alright? Yes, yeah, yeah. What the? Did you just choke on a screw? There was a screw in my tuna sandwich. How did that happen? I don't know. Oh, you know what this means. What? That means I can enforce a lawsuit against the tuna company for this. Okay, go ahead. Come on, let's go do this, Niftali. Hmm... <laughs> You see, Dad? You see, Uncle? Wait, so you actually choked on a screw this big? Yes. Oh, 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 then you really should have the right to sue the tuna company for this. That's what Natalia and I are going to do now. Let's go. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, you see this, officer? You see this? So you're saying, sir, this screw was found in your tuna sandwich. Yes, and it choked me half to death. Right, Neftali? Yes, it choked, it almost choked my cousin half to death. So you guys are planning to enforce a lawsuit? Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. So you want to sue the tuna company for this? Yes, sir. For how much? Uh, ten, ten million dollars. That's a little too much. Not ten million, ten thousand dollars. All right, you can speak to the tuna company tomorrow. All right. Uh, hello, sir? Hello, we received a call from this house that somebody was upset about finding a screw in their tuna sandwich. Uh, yes. Is that a true? Yes, yes, yes. I actually did find a screw in my tuna sandwich. All right, let's discuss this inside. Come on. Yes, let's go. If you did not know, sir, our company is called Tuna Land, and we're one of the most popular tuna companies. But now we hear you want to sue us because you found a screw in your tuna. Yes, because me and Neftali over there, we were very upset about me almost choking on that screw. So I plan to sue your company for $10,000 at court. Well, then let's make a deal. Oh, should I go for this deal, Natali? Yes, Randy. If you choose to not sue us for $10,000, then our company will give you a whole load of tuna for a year. Ooh, should I take that deal? I don't know, Randy. Uh, you know what, Natali? Uh, get out of here real quick. All right. No, sir, I will not take this deal. Wait, what? I will not take the deal for the whole load of tuna for a year. And I will see you at court in three days. All right, bet. He's still trying to sue us. All right, I guess we'll see him. Order, order, order. I am Judge Brent. And I am here to the case of the screw. <clears throat> so, I have heard... That Randy Samillion found a screw in his tuna sandwich. Is that right, Randy? Yes, like it choked me half to death. Yeah, and why would the kid lie about a screw being found in his piece of tuna? He's supposed to enjoy tuna, not die because of it. All right, then. Well, we shall bring Neftali Lamour up as a witness. Oh... Damn. All right, man. What, what, what you doing, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? What you doing, Jit? Back off. Okay. So, Neftali Lamour, what happened on the day that your cousin found a screw in his piece of tuna? Yeah, Neftali, what happened on the day that I choked on the screw? Uh, I have a conf I have a confession to make. And what is that, ma'am? I... I was the one that put the screw in the tuna. <gasps> and the truth comes out. Wait, so you're the one that put the screw in the tuna? 
Yes, I did. It was not the company. It was me. Oh, wow. Wow. Damn. So now you're telling me I actually tried suing the company for no reason at all. I'm sorry, sir, but now you basically have no reason to sue the company. Neftali, I can't believe you actually did that. You were the one who actually put the screw in my tuna. Yeah, but it was a mistake, and I didn't know it was going to choke you half to death. Aw, oh, man. That means I could have actually gotten $10,000 off of the tuna company. That would have been if they had actually done it. Why couldn't you have just told me that you put the screw in the tuna? You made me think it was that dumb tuna company that did it. So, you want to go buy some Tuna Land tuna from the store? No, because regardless, I'm still not eating tuna ever again. All right.